Hi, I'm attorney Jim Dodson. When someone reports to an emergency room after any type of an accident or an incident that uh, might have resulted in a head injury, it's almost inevitable that the uh, ER doctor is going to order a CT, one or more CT scans of the brain. Uh, we now see in virtually every case that comes through the emergency room that they're running CT scans not only of the brain but of other areas of the body. Well, so what is a CT scan? You know, it's really a series of very specific x-rays that take a slice of the brain and they do them in the series. That's why they increase actually the radiation that's, that the person's exposed to. But they make a very detailed sort of image of the brain because of the multiplicity of x-rays that are taken. Now, they are excellent at diagnosing acute brain injuries where there is bleeding or acute damage to the brain that the CT scan is designed to pick up. But many times a person may have actual brain injury that doesn't manifest or show in the form of something that a CT scan can pick up Im immediately at the, at the emergency room. Uh, when you move past that emergency period, maybe two or three days later, now the MRI typically becomes more of a tool to, to, to diagnose or find a brain injury. But remember that a negative CT scan at the emergency room or even a negative MRI taken some days later does not mean there is no injury to the brain. Uh, you can still have significant damage that these scans may not pick up.